test or, or a, uh, a task for you, maybe a little demo for you. You can try this in the simulator. Get yourself into a stall, okay? When you go to practice stalls in sim, do a, get yourself to the stall, get to the stick shaker, and don't even touch the thrust levers. Don't even touch them, okay? The stick shaker comes on, Disregard thrust levers, disconnect the autopilot, let the nose come down, and what you're going to find is you can actually recover from a stall with idle thrust. No application of thrust, because again, angle of attack, right? As long as you reduce the angle of attack, you're going to recover out of that stall just fine. Now, the reason we use thrust then is why? Because we want to minimize altitude loss. That's why. We want to minimize altitude loss. And so what happens is when, you, when you're recovering, we've got to recover back to an airspeed that is sufficient to sustain level flight. And the way that we can get to that airspeed is one of two ways. We can trade altitude for speed on the way down, or we can do a little combination of trading some altitude while also coming in with some thrust, because thrust, of course, is another way to bring your indicated airspeed up, right? So when we're using thrust application, it's because we're trying to minimize how much altitude we're losing, but ultimately something to realize is that, again, recovery from the stall is entirely a function of angle of attack and not of thrust application.